Our environments are constantly impacting us, by the way, in two ways, right? When you think it's not, but it is, right? It facilitates or discourages our engagement with other people. So depending on where I grew up, I might have this mentality of, nah, don't mess with that person. Why? Because he's a nerd or she's a nerd. Or they live uptown. They, they could never understand me. They don't get me. They're not from where I'm from. They don't know what I have to go through. So these are the limitations, right, that we set. Which means we took away the opportunity to actually have a conversation with that person. Because they're so different, we didn't even entertain the idea. And that's where people limit themselves. The environment forces us to choose an action, whether we do something or we don't do anything at all. And that's what your environment is going to do for you. Okay? Think about this example. Imagine like a dirty apartment with leftover food containers, dirty laundry and roaches, right? And all those things that you can envision. That apartment encourages the guests, the people who come over, to not remove their shoes <laughs> when they visit, right? Or it may even influence them to add more trash to the apartment because they figure, 